Hey YouTubers, it's your buddy Platt. And today I'm drinking beer from Lagunitas Brewing in uh, Petaluma, California. Uh, Lagunitas is uh, well known uh, as one of the largest craft brewers in America. Or I guess I can't call them craft anymore. They sold uh, a 50% interest in uh, of uh, the brewery in to Heineken. And so they're no longer classified as a craft brew. But they still produce a ton of great beers. And this one today is called the Hairy Eyeball Ale. It's uh, a, kind of a seasonal brew they do in the wintertime. It's a strong American ale. This particular one comes in 9.1% ABV, uh, 57 IBUs. Uh, so this is, this is a real big beer, but uh, I've heard good things about it. So let's give her a try. That's a nice dark amber reddish hue. Got a nice one inch khaki head. Let's give her a smell. The, uh, the malt's kind of predominant on the smell. You don't get a lot of hops. Um, kind of a um, sweetness to it. Um, Yeah, very malty, uh, dark malt uh, to it. Let's uh, let's give her a try. Oh, that's nice. Nice little creamy head to it. Plenty of maltiness. Um, there's some hop balance to it. It's not over the top. Uh, it's not sour. I get. I get a lot of dark fruit. I get a um, little uh, bre slight breadiness to it on the taste. Let me give her. Yeah, a little, like I said, I get dark fruits, plum. Um, Definitely pick up those dark malts. Um, you, you feel it going down at 9.1%. It's you're gonna feel it. plenty of body, but also at the same time drinkable enough. Um, this is definitely a wintertime beer. Um, not too far off from the winter warmer I tried last week. Um, Very, yeah, it's very good. It's it's nice and big and warm. Overall, I like it. Um, this beer, if you'll uh, read, read on the label, gives a little backstory to the name Warren's Applied as a kind of a hangover cure or whatever. And that's what I want to talk to you today is about hangovers. Uh, we just got through the New Year's. And I'm sure several of you out there probably had some hangovers. So I want to talk about getting over hangovers. And there's two main methods to do that. First is uh, getting right back on that horse, as they say. Maybe having a beer just like this. Uh, a lot of people like to try, you know, get a little vitamins in there. So they'll have like a screwdriver or a Bloody Mary. Uh, some people uh, will dabble with a little bit of champagne, something sweet to get get back in there and those are all fine approaches and probably the quickest relief as far as a hangover go will just uh, like I said get back on that horse uh, but you're eventually going to have to uh, face that hangover sooner or later one, one of these times so just know you're kind of delaying the inevitable when you go that route now the other route is to kind of sober up you know quit drinking and then take something else to kind of cure your pounding head or your little wooziness or what have you. Um, aspirin's probably the most popular. A lot of people like to either take a couple aspirin before they go to sleep or after they go to sleep. Water's always a big one. Uh, two glasses of water before you go to sleep is one I heard a lot of uh, when I began drinking. 
Um, some people like to get a, a little, you know, electrolytes, uh, Powerade, Gatorade. Those are always great before you go to bed. Um, I've even heard of shots of wheatgrass uh, as a detoxifying method. Um, out here in Vegas, they actually take it to another level. Uh, they have a mobile service you can find out here where they come and pick you up hungover and they come and put an IV to you and pump you full of electrolytes and whatever and get you back up and going. I hear it does wonders. Uh, a little costly from what I gather, but uh, I guess if you're coming to Vegas to uh, live the dream or whatever or have that big experience, maybe, maybe it's worth your uh, money. I've personally found my my favorite method is is Pedialyte. Um, again, kind of like the Gatorade water helps you get electrolytes. Uh, it's sold for you know babies, but they'll sell for little four packs. And if you'll take one of those bottles and just knock them back before you go to sleep, I find the next morning you're generally right as rain. Um, now, if you just want to avoid the hangover altogether, remember you know take it slow. When you're out drinking, uh, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And you'll find if you'll have, have something to eat and a couple of glasses of water along the way that you're really going to help that morning after. But uh, if, if you're faced with that morning after, maybe a couple of those methods I suggested to you uh, will help you out. Well, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, uh, feel free to subscribe below. And also feel free to share the videos with your friends. If you have any questions or comments, you can always leave them in the comment section below. Or you can contact me on the Twitter page. Well, until next time, bottoms up.